Good evening and welcome to the sixth round of the Division 1 category in the America F1 series. Tom Ken's your commentator and I cannot wait for tonight's event to actually begin. Here on one of the greatest and most historical circuits in the world. Located in the North Hampshire countryside, that is Silverstone. That is owned by the British Racing Drivers Club. At the moment we have 15 competitors who will take part in qualifying and the race. There may be a few more joining a little bit later on. But we have an 18 minute qualifying session that will determine the grid for the 26 lap British Grand Prix. We have two drivers in genuine contention for the title. They are Cycle Nardo and WSPGA. Now WSP has a 23 point margin to make up on Cycle Nardo. And Cycle Nardo had his lead reduced by six points last time out in Austria, but still leads the way by 23 points over WSP going into Silverstone. Now, as far as I'm concerned, with the weather, quality is meant to be overcast and dry. Overcast but dry for quality. And in the race, it's meant to be overcast and then some light rain towards the end of it. So that could throw race strategy into the mix there as well if it does rain. But that's for the race. In the meantime, this is qualifying. Who will take pole position here at Silverstone? We hear some engines revving up, which means we get to see some cars going out onto the racetrack. There's one of the Mercedes who's making his way out. That'll be Trizen, who's in uh, in place of um, Aaron Carey. We've also got... Trying to have a look at those who have been called in. So Trizen's been called in. Another one of the... Debutants in there. Run Deasy is in the Williams in place of Bishop's Finger. It's one of the Alpha Tauris who's already out on the circuit or furthest round. Right? In fact, no, it's the Renault actually of uh, Sali who is the furthest round on the outlap, so we'll stay on board with him. And he seems to have a fan alongside him who's tuned in. That is. Uh, uh, Kakashi, if that's uh, how your name's pronounced. Apologies if it's mispronounced. So, Sally seems to have a fan saying um, Sally's the GOAT. That's, uh, a mis uh, that's uh, an abbreviation of greatest of all time. Trust me. Well, he's not a bad driver, but he's not quite at the top of the championship, is um, Sali. So Sali on a flying lap then, the first... We go on board as he comes down the Wellington Strait towards Brooklyn's. Turning maybe a little bit too late there. Down to third gear as he comes through Loughfield. And we'll see a good acceleration onto the old pit straight. I do miss Form 1 starting their races there. Now we come through Maggots, then Beckett's, and then Chapel. Rather cautious through Beckett's, he just wants to make sure he's got a banker lap in there. Dasali, DRS open on the hangar straight. And I think we're going to see the first time being put in. So there's Sali coming into Vale and then Club. Which takes him onto the Hamilton straight. And it's a 1 minute 25.9. So a decent lap for him. But the Alpha Tari of Janino is on the mediums on his flying lap. And Trizen's behind him on a flying lap. So Janino, oh, he loses it. He loses it coming out of the. Uh, coming out of fail. Trizen goes fastest on the 25.4. But Janino's got to be careful not to rejoin into the path of other drivers. He is 
Almost going around them. Oh, he's been disqualified from the session as well. So Janino has been disqualified. He will start from the back of the grid. That's such a shame. Randizi crosses over the line to post a 29-1 in the Williams. That's Denmark posting a 26-1 on the mediums as well. Randizi on the softs, to say. Denmark on the mediums. Switchback posting a 26-6 on the softs. Piaggi Jackson going fast is on a 24-8 in the racing point. So, so far at the moment, it's Jackson from Trizen, Sali, Denmark, Switchback and Randizi. The Simpy is the next driver to be on a fast lap. He's approaching the start-finish line now. It's going to be a 26-4, which puts him fifth ahead of Switchback. The Simpy who... He's had a fair good races actually. He's done three races so far this season. He's got two seventh places and an eleventh. And it's been uh, there was a yellow flag at set to one, but I think that was due to uh, one of the McLarens going off. That'll be uh, simply going wide. Aston Masters has joined the lobby as well as the 16th runner. I'm not sure if he'll be able to take up the grid position he qualifies on. So he's been at it as both of the racing points make their way back into the pit lane. Binatinata prepares for his first flying lap. Can he go for his second point of the season here today? It's possible. He will qualify ahead of Janinho. Natinato coming through the old pit straight and into the cops. He wants to be around about one minute one through sector two. Standing chance of posting a decent time. It's one minute 2.8. Down the hanging straight he comes. Into Vale and then Club. Ground in the last corner now, and it's a 26 3 for Binati Nata. He goes in front of De Simpi. That's a very good time, actually. And he goes in front of Switchback. So Binati Nata has shown some good pace here at Silverstone so far on his first flying lap. Tilwick, his teammate, has just started the first flying lap of his. He comes to Abby rather cautiously, to be honest with you. Down to second gear. And De Simpi. Oh, is, is he crossed out? De Simpi's crossed out on the start finish straight. There's a Mercedes coming through now, which is uh, Trizen. By the way, De Simpi will not be posting. Another lap time later in this session. So he'll start wherever he ends up. He has got a lap time on the board. Here's Tilwick on a flying lap in the Haas. He's not, he's not hammering the car through the corners enough. So 1 minute 5.5. The racing point getting out of the way. Tilwick 
having a decent... We've got not a bad exit. But he's, he's not fighting the car through the corners. And this is going to be a really slow lap time here for Tilwick. So 1 minute 30.4. Not good enough. He's Denmark. He's aiming for a better lap. Sarley is on a better lap than he previously set. It's a 25-5 and puts him third. Denmark is next up on the soft compound. On a much better lap here than he had set before. He wants to be in the low 25s. Oh, he got out of shape. Oh, that's his lap ruined. That's such a shame there for, uh, for Denmark. Georgie Jackson coming into the pits. No, he's not going to be on a better lap than previously. So we're coming back into the pits as well. WSP on a flying lap in the Alpha Tari. There's a racing point in front of him. He's going through maggots. Might be okay. More at 1.6. WSP coming across the over the line. His second fastest for him on a 24-9. Got four, three drivers on flying laps at the moment. Aston Masters was, but he's now had his lap time invalidated. Cycle Nardo, championship leader on a flying lap. From DZ, he's not on the fast lap at all, to be honest with you. Leonardo looking to go faster than before. There's an old oh, game of James has spawn into the barrier, I think. Is that his session over? No, he keeps going. Psychonado has backed off. I wonder if he's made a mistake somewhere, actually. And Gaming James has been disqualified as well. So he will start at the back of the grid. Boy, if I'm facing the wrong way, that's a really controversial rule there. Well, I say it's controversial. It's a controversial way of him being kicked out of qualifying. It's like Ronaldo, just waiting. Just deciding when to go. Come away from him. Hello coming through sector two now. It's a one minute one point eight. There's a Williams in front of him as well. I think that's Sandiz uh, Randizi who is on a better lap than what he had posted before. He's got Elog behind him and he's gonna hold him up now as well, which is annoying. Because he knows he's not on a faster lap. Randizi crossing over the line, as is Elog, and Elog lost time. Elog lost time in the last sector. And that will infuriate him a lot. So Radicon in 13th position, who hasn't set a time yet. Coming through to post his first time of the session, and it's seven fastest on the 26-2. And set that on the mediums as well. Switch back. He's gone purple in sector two. Does it mean he's on the 
faster time than everyone, it's just how the game calculates it. Over the curves at Bale, and then through Club. And it's a 25 4, that puts him up to 5th on the mediums. It's advantage Jackson at the moment, who is fastest by attempt over WSP, then it's Trizen third, Elog fourth, but we know he can go faster than what he was able to set earlier on. Switchback is fifth, ahead of Sali, then it's Denmark, Radicon, B Natty Natter, a brilliant night for him so far. Ahead of Disimpi, Randizi, Tilwick, Cyclonado, who's 13th, Acid Masters, who has yet to post a time of any sort, is about to now, but it's not by any means representative. He's on the final lap now, is Aston Masters, so we'll stay with him. And set to one, it's a 27 0. I do want to have been in the high 26s. In left field and through Woodcoat. I didn't take the best lines through Beckett's. It's a one minute two point seven. Goes past the Haas there. And where will this place Acid Masters? Probably around where Denmark and Radicon are. And it's a 26-4. And he goes behind Disimpi, in fact. And slower than uh, B. Natinata. B. Natinata. On a flying lap now, though. As the Masters goes to the runoff area. Wisely moving out of the way. I have to say, B. Natty Nutters all of a sudden managed to find time from anywhere he can. We're into the last minute now of qualifying. Trizen going faster than he had done before. Denmark goes up to third. Jackson's off. And he won't be improving his time. Doris has just started his last time lap. There's a Williams about to cross over the line to start his final flying lap. So we'll go to Trizen, one of the reserves for this evening. And he's had his lap invalidated. So he won't be going faster than before. Neither will Denmark. So only either Doris P, Elog or Psychonado can deprive PRG Jackson of pole position here. B. Natinata has had his lap time invalidated as well. And Elog. Pulling out of qualifying on the exit of the loop. Coming into Vale now. And exiting club. Over the line. And he goes to second place on the grid. So not pole position for WSP at Silverstone. What can Cyclonado do? He's not stuck in traffic. And he goes to provisional pole position, does Cyclonado. And that seals pole position for him here at Silverstone, taking it by nearly seven tenths of a second from Jackson in second place. So the championship leader on pole position once again. Jackson alongside, who has 
competed three times this season, the last of which was a non-finish in Canada. WSP will start third on the grid. And we've got an interesting field for the race. There's one or two more that's joining him as well. So, Cycle Nardo and Piolgi Jackson make up the front row of the grid. WSP and Denmark on row two. So, Denmark doing very well again. It's Trizen brilliantly getting his Mercedes onto the third row ahead of Elog. They switch back in seventh ahead of Sali. In eighth, Radicon and Binatana to make up row five. Decimpium Acid Masters on row six. Randizi and Tilwick on row seven. Gino and Gamer James were disqualified for. Uh, trying to rejoin the track, but the game decided to disqualify them um, for driving around the wrong way, apparently. So, I have to say, well done to B. Nassi Nasser, posting a really strong lap time there with a 1 minute 26.3, which is better than the average lap time we've seen from him um, at Silverstone. Can he convert that into a points finish, though? The clouds are gathering over at Silverstone. And the rain is expected towards the end of the race. Now we've got a considerable number of drivers who are going to be starting the race on the medium compound. We've got Gomez Indu who has joined. And uh, Wesley coming in saying WSPGA for the win. He's got a good chance of it. And for the sake of the championship he is 23 points off the top going into this race. There's no points for qualifying. It's the race that matters. And in case you want to know what how the point system works, it's the same as real life Formula 1. 25 points for the win, 18 for second, 15 for third, right all the way down to 10th place who get one. And there's also a point on offer for the driver who finishes inside the top 10, getting the fastest lap. So the drivers begin their formation lap and we have an opportunity to find out who is starting on what. So, those inside the top 10 start the race as they set their fastest times on. WSP starts on the mediums, likewise with Elog, Switchback and Radicom. Outside the top 10, you've got Aston Masters on the mediums, along with Randizi and Gamer Janes. All the others are starting on the soft compound. Now, how will the weather play a role? Like Ronaldo leading the field round on the formation lap. Looking to extend his lead at the top. PLG Jackson has already got a fourth and a third place to his name this season. He'll be looking to pick up his first victory in the America F1 series since that brilliant, brilliant performance at Singapore in season one. We're in round six now at the halfway points of this season. Last year, or last season, I should say. It was Ben McEwen, the eventual champion, coming away with the victory, albeit retrospectively, after Switchback was penalised for a collision that he was deemed at fault for earlier on in the race. Sadly, Ben McEwen's not in this championship. We will see a new world champion. Who will it be come Austin in Texas in five weeks' time? got some of the cars lined up on the grid now the rest are joining in now 17 cars on the grid as Gummers Indu who didn't join for qualifying is now in for the race so five red lights coming on now very very shortly when they go out we will be racing here at Silverstone 
It's lights out and away we go. Piorgi Jackson seems to get off to a better start than Cyclonado and he's going to lead into Abbey. Cyclonado going side by side with the racing point and Cyclonado gets the lead back. So Cyclonado stays in the lead on the exit of Village as they come through now. That's Jackson in second place. That's WSP in third. Denmark in fourth, and we've got Trizen going side by side with Elog going up to fifth, and we've got a spinner. It's Switchback going round in the racing point. He's got a lot of ground to make up from there. Sally up into seventh place now, had a rally on. Binati Nata is in eighth, uh, ninth place, sorry, and Disimpi in tenth. We saw one of the Ferraris going off onto the runner ferry on the Wellington Strait, and we've got a Red Bull losing part of his front wing. That's Acid Masters, who will be in need of some remedy at the end of the first lap, but Cyclonado stays in the lead. Jackson second place, OSP in third, Denmark fourth, and Trizen in fifth ahead of Elog. So the top six are still in the same positions as what they were on the grid. You can see Jackson pushing hard even at this stage of the race. So how long will it be before the rain intervenes on the Silverstone circuit? It's not expected maybe until the second half of this one, so it's not something on the driver's mind for now. Although Elog's trying to get through on Trizen as they go through Stowe for the first time. They have to slot back in behind the German. Sali in 7th place ahead of Radicom. Binatinata in ninth position. And Simpi in 10th. And Nasser Masters into the pits for a new nose. He'll probably go onto the hard tyres to see out the next stint before the rain comes. So riding on board with Psychonado, who has, I think it says he has a um, 1.3 second lead, which is just about right, I would say. Trying to get out of DRS range. Now, DSP needs to win this race to have any chance in the championship, really, keeping these realistic hopes alive. 23 points behind coming into this race. There's a long way to go yet, though. Game of James getting, but oh, there's a spinner. Janino into the wall. Janino into the wall on the exit of Loughfield. He's got away with it. Now, can he get going without being disqualified this time? Yes, he can. But he's most certainly going to need to come into the pits to get a new nose comb. WSP, right behind Piorgi Jackson, determined to stay within DRS range. Jackson's not within DRS range to have a go on Cyclonado when the DRS is enabled. So it's going to be WSP who will have the advantage down the Wellington Strait. And Juninho's off this time at Stowe. He's kept the car going. Now he's got to be careful not to go off too many times. So Cyclonado is setting a new fastest lap. Won't be the first time he'll be setting the fastest lap in this race, I would reckon, before the rain comes. Switch back, moving back up to 14th position ahead of Randizi. At least he hasn't got any damage to his car, that's the main thing. Elog now ahead of Trizen as well for fifth position. Now, how long will it be before those who have started on the mediums come into their window whilst those on the softs, whose tyres will begin to fall away? Three second time penalty for Sali for exceeding track limits. Another penalty was dished out also to Janino for speeding in the pit lane, which he'll have to take. So I was just going to say, Ginyo has an opportunity to take the penalty next time he comes into the pits. The WSPGA determined to get on with it now, right behind Jackson. On to the hangar straight. We're now on lap four. WSP closing up behind the racing point of Piaggi Jackson. It's important he gets past him as soon as he can, really, to close in on Cyclonado in the battle for the lead. He's got DRS 
open now, which he can use to his advantage as they come into Brooklyn's. But he's not able to get the job done there, so the likelihood of getting his overtake done will be on the hangar straight. Elog in fifth position as an instant in sector two. It's one of the Renaults has gone off. It's Sarley. And his races is further compromised, falling down to 14th position now behind Switchback. And WSP, uh, WSPGA. Or J.A. I should say. Close behind Georgie Jackson. Uh, as Denmark loses fourth position to Elog now. Elog fighting his way through the field on the mediums. Starting sixth. And he's managed to find his way up into fourth by the end of lap four. Switch by getting ahead of Tilwick for 12th place. Continuing his recovery. Switchback who hasn't won a race in the America F1 series since Austria in season one. He struggled so far this season. He did pick up sixth place last time out in Austria. And Sarley's in the pits for a new front wing. Unless he's decided he's had enough of those soft tyres and decides to go onto a set of mediums before the rain intervenes and hopefully he can set some strong enough pace. And the thing is, if we do get a safety car, the sooner the safety car comes out, the more, the longer we have of the rain before the race finishes. Oh, and Jackson's off. Jackson's gone off onto the run affair now. I'm sure he's gaining an advantage by going off there. That's the master's getting a time penalty now, as well as to Simpy, exceeding track limits. Denmark in fifth position. Uh, we've got an instant set to one. It's Sally who's gone off uh, at Village. And Jackson's now got a time penalty for exceeding chat limits. And Sally rejoins. He's had a really wretched race. He rejoins ahead of um, Janino as Jackson sets a new fastest out. One at 27.7. Elog in fourth place now, pulling away from Denmark. It's been a brilliant drive from Elog so far. He nearly took victory earlier this season in Azerbaijan. He took victory on the road, but due to penalties of others that got rescinded, that victory was taken away from him through no fault of his own. Uh, we've got an instant set to three. Is that Aston Masters who's had a moment? I think it is, yeah. I don't know if he's picked up any damage. Or has he? Oh, oh no. No, this is not good driving from Aston Masters. No, I'm sure there's a penalty coming his way for that because you're not allowed to enter the pit there and then just duck back out again like that. I'm sure the stewards will have a look at it post-race. Sully into the pits for Renault. He's gone a lap behind. It's disappointing from Sully because he could have been in frame for some good points. And with the rain looming in at some point, who knows where he could have finished. OSP within a second still of Jackson. He's not able to get the job done. So they come into Brooklyn's. Instant now in sector one. Someone's off. It's one of the Hassers. Is that B Natty It is. Oh, that's such a shame there for the owner of the America F1 series. Qualified brilliantly in the top ten in qualifying. I thought this would be the best chance of him to score points today, but sadly not. And Sally has retired. He's has he crashed out? If he's crashed out, then that's against the rules. Because he it looks like he's intentionally crashed out on the exit of Village, or the loop. 
And I hope this does not trigger a safety car, which it doesn't, luckily. DRSP determined to get in front of Jackson now. And Jackson, oh, he spins! Jackson loses it on the exit of Stowe, and he's reset the car back onto the chart. That's against the rules. Jackson will be penalised for that. Against the, and then that you're not allowed to reset your car back onto the track under, under any circumstances. So Denmark coming down the Hamilton straight, closely behind on Jackson, but he should be ahead of Jackson, to be honest with you, had it not been for the racing point resetting the car back onto the track. The stewards will look at that. Because no one else was around him. No one made contact with him prior to the spin. And he's just basically cheated by resetting the car onto the racetrack. So simply up to sixth now in the McLaren doing a fine job. He's improved from where he was last season in the Alpha Tauri. And Denmark now within a second of Jackson. So they come into the hangar straight once again. B Natanata coming into the pits to get rid of those soft compound tyres. DRSP moving up to second place now, courtesy of Jackson's spin. Has he got enough time to make amends on Cyclonado? Gamer James gets past Radicon up to eight. Gamer James having a good race so far from the back of the grid. Next one up for him is Trizen. One of the debutants for today. Randizi is the other. Crossing the line now to begin lap nine of 26. So we should start to see drivers who start on the softs coming into the pits. We've got... Oh, and it looks like Aston Masters has gone for a spin and he definitely reset the car back onto the racetrack. Now I can tell because the blue dot, which if you we look at him on the, um, the old pit straight, there's that blue dot there which indicates that he's in the Red Bull. It, um, it jumps back onto the, uh, the racetrack from when he went off into the gravel onto the runoff area. That's against the rules, unfortunately. Another one for the stewards. Now the drivers have been told about that rule post the first race in Bahrain. That they'll get, they'll be penalised if they reset the car onto the racetrack. Now oh, Jackson spins again. Jackson spins on the exit of Cops. Please don't reset the car back onto the track this time. He doesn't. He turns around, gets going again. He shouldn't get that penalty, to be honest with you. But I can imagine they'll cut the corner or exceed the track limits so many times, which is why he's got that penalty. Oh, he's spun again as Jackson. He really is all over the place now. Just please don't in intentionally crush the car, mate. It's the last thing we want. So Aston Masters comes into the pits for Red Bull for a new front wing. Jackson spins, dropping down to 12th now and out of the point. Gamer James right behind Trizen as they go into Village. Gamer James nearly did it there. Trizen shutting the door. Now can the Ferrari get by on the Wellington straight? Goes to the inside. Trizen doesn't even fight it on this occasion. Gamer James on the better tyres at this stage and goes up into sixth position. Game, uh, Jackson in the pits now for Racing Point. Now, does he decide to call it a day, or will he go on another set of tyres? He's going on another set of tyres, mediums, that is. So he's out on his way, down in 13th position. Gamer James also now picking up a time penalty. You can tell he exceeded chat limits there, no doubt about it. Gamer James, I'm not sure if he'll have DRS on the back straight, the hangar straight, that is. No, he doesn't, so he'll have to... Sit behind Desimpi a little bit longer. And someone else has had a spin in set to one. It's the racing point of Pioggi Jackson again. Now he keeps spinning around as Jackson. And we have Cyclonado in the pits now for Williams. 
race leader pitting for his first stop. Could be his only stop of the race, depending on whether the rain does decide to come down or not. But he's out on his way on his medium compound. And will rejoin behind switchback in seventh place. And someone else has spun. It's Acid Masters this time. And he's rejoined in 16th position behind Gininho. Well, he's a long way behind Gininho anyway, but a lap behind. Demar also in the pits, as is Trison. So Demar rejoins in 10th, and Trison should rejoin in 11th. And Piaggi Jackson spun again in the racing point. This is going from bad to worse now. Well, worn out those tyres as well. Is that rain coming down as well? I thought I saw I thought sorry, I thought I saw some rain hitting the racetrack. And Jackson back into the pits. And I think he's gonna be calling it a day to be and Acid Masters off again and he's reset the car back onto the racetrack. That's twice he's done that now at least. Now the students need to come down on this because this cannot go on. It's not within the rules for him to be doing that. A lug up to second in the Alfa Romeo, who's yet to stop in this race. De Simpi's still on the soft tyres. Now, is he going to take those tyres to as far as the rain comes down? It'll be a tall order for him to do that. Gamer James in fourth position for Ferrari. Tilwick in the pits now for Haas. Game okay, James looking to get on with it by passing to Simpy for third place on the road. There he goes into Brooklyn's. No problem whatsoever. We've got Williams spinning. That's run Deasy. He's had a wretched race, to be honest with you, as Tilwick completes his stop, goes back out on a set of mediums and rejoins in 12th position. Oh, someone's off. Aston Martin's off again. And he's reset the car on the track again. That's three times he's done that now. That's three times he has been off the racetrack and reset the car back onto the racing line. And he's gone through the polystyrene boards. Now, Acid Masters, if he's going to retire, just come into the pits and do it, mate. Don't spoil the race for everyone else. Elog in second place. Gamer James third. For Ferrari, as De Simpi does finally pit for McLaren, taking those tyres 12 laps, in fact, before he comes in. I suppose the good news is, once he goes onto the mediums, he'll have more grip than those who have already been in for the mediums. Psychonada goes back through into fifth place, switch back ahead of him as well. Gamas Indu, who's yet to stop in this race, is going to go up to seventh place, I believe. He does so. De Simpi completes his stop. He'll rejoin behind Denmark and Trison. Or has Trison done enough, in fact? Trison does just get in front of uh, De Simpi. And the Mercedes goes up to ninth place. He's doing a good race so far as Trison. There's still some drivers yet to pit in this race. But so far, so good for him. Gummers and Dews yet to pit on the soft compound. He's Going to be coming in soon. Switchback is. As well as uh, the top four currently. WSP, Elog, Gamer James and Radicon. A couple of drivers have been given time penalties. Now B. Nati Nata is one of them. And just before him, Gamer James has been given another three seconds of time penalty for exceeding track limits too many times. Now, halfway through this race now. DSP continuing to lead, but he's still yet to make his first pit stop. This is important for him now. He's got some relatively clean air in front of him. There is a back marker ahead of him that shouldn't cause too many problems. Psychonada with a new fast as that now. He's flying on those new mediums. Radicons ahead of him on old mediums.
in this game, and James looking comfortable in third, but he's also yet to come in. I think by the time he comes out on the soft compound, he may have the, the better tyres to, to charge on other drivers. He will be on lighter fuel than those who had started on the softs at the start of the, well, at the start of the race, you say, who had started on the softs, who have had to put more load into it, therefore the tyres go away more, or go away more quickly. Cyclonado. So Cyclonado with DRS. Rear wing open. Does he get in front of Radicon on this occasion? Does he go to the inside into Veil? Vale? The answer is yes, as Radicon opens the door for him to go past. He didn't really pull up a fight in that, but Darius P is in. So Darius P is in for his only stop of the race. He'll rejoin behind Cycle Nada again. So Gamer James temporarily takes the lead of the British Grand Prix. Cycle Nardo second, Radicon third, switch back fourth. Darius P will rejoin in fifth. Elog will rejoin in sixth. He comes in, do in the pits now for Ferrari. It's taking those tyres a long, long way. And someone else has gone off in sector two. It's been Natty Natter this time. He reverses and he's got damage to his front wing as well. Now Janino will go past him for short. Be Natty Natter goes off onto the run of Ferrari. That's probably the right thing to do, to be honest with you. Got the race leader coming up as well. Elog gets a three-second time penalty for exceeding shot limits too many times. Gamer Jones comes into the pits for his only stop. Cyclonado goes back into the lead now. Radicon also pits in, switch back likewise. So Darius P and Ella will go up to second and third places. Denmark will also go by those three. Binatinata also in the pits for Haas, who's not had a very good race. He's going back out again on the set of the softs. So Denmark is through up into fourth place. Game James exits the pits. Does, that, does he get out in front of Trizen? The answer is yes, he does. Or does he? No, he doesn't. He's fallen behind uh, Trizen. And he's got a fast charging to Simpy on his tail. But James will be on the better tyres at this point. Rear wing open. Does he go past Trizen with ease? Yes, he does. Does this simply follow through into Brooklyn's? The answer is no. There is a bit of contact though. Can this simply hang it out outside? The answer is no. So, simply has to wait a little bit longer before he can get by the Mercedes driver. Radicon rejoins in eighth, switched back in ninth. Randizi, who's yet to pit in this race, is in tenth place. And Acid Masters has reset the car back onto the track again. That's four times now. That he has done that. And the rain isn't quite hitting the circuit yet, but it is coming as far as we know. It's like another using the DRS. Whilst he's behind the back marker of Janino. Comes Indu passing uh, Randizi for 10th position. Randizi, who's not yet stopped in this race. Does he pit in at the end of this lap? No, he decides to stay out another lap. Just in Pete. Looking to get past Tristan. For sixth place. D 
Dixon saying, how, um, how has the race been so far? Um, it's been interesting, Dixon. Thank you. Um, yeah, we've, we've had some competitive battles out on circuit. Um, we've had a few drivers, or one or two drivers, resetting the car back onto the track, but that's something I can um, address to the stewards later. But above all, it's been a good race. Hopefully you can stay watching for the remainder of this one as rain is expected to come in the closing stages, so that could have a say on the final race result. There are time penalties that are yet to be dished out. Aston Masters coming into the pits now for uh, Red Bull, coming back out on another set of soft tyres. So looking at the time penalties, Psychonado has a penalty of three seconds, Elog has three, Gamer James has six, Desimpi Radicon have six, Switchback Gummers Indu, Rondizia have three, Janini has 11, B Natinata and Aston Masters have six each. So as it stands, Psychonado would still take the victory, WSP would still finish second, and Ulog would still finish third ahead of Denmark. The, the highest change is between James and Trizen in the battle for fifth place, but James is on better tyres than Trizen is. And James has a better chance of pulling away than Trizen has of closing in. Game of James in fifth place now. Three and a half seconds clear of Trizen. But Dizimpi will be all over the back of the Mercedes. As he's on better uh, uh, yeah, he's on better tyres than Trizen, albeit by a couple of laps on the same compound. Not gonna be enough for him to get by on this occasion. Saw someone going wide there. Was that switchback or was it Radicon that ran wide? I couldn't tell by that view. Psychonado still leads by nine seconds on the road. WSP closing in on the time. Remember, WSP went on a longer first stint than Psychonado, but that was because he was on the mediums, in comparison to Psychonado, who was on the soft compound at the beginning. And someone is off. It's Mas Acid Masters. Not reset the car back onto the track this time. Trizen still back in the way with Desimpi. To simply go into the outside as they enter Loft Field. This could be to simply get best chance of getting through here. Oh, he goes onto the gravel. He's touched the gravel there and he's lost ground to Trizen. And this battling is allowing Radicon and Switchback to close in on these two. Denmark now gets a time penalty for exceeding trap limits too many times. Seven laps remaining here now to simply all over the back of Trizen as they go onto the hangar straight. To simply not using his ERS on his occasion, hence why he's staying behind. And we've got an instant set to two. It's one of the Williams who's spun round. It will be Randizi. Please don't reset the car back onto the chart, please, mate. Thank you very much. So he rejoins properly. This is a good battle to watch. There is Radicon and Switchback fight it out over eighth position. Now, does Switchback get past as they enter Abbey? Won't do it there, but he may, may be able to do it into uh, Village. Switchback goes to the inside. But Radicon keeps the door closed. Instant sets to one now. Is that Acid Masters who has spun again? It is. How many times have we seen him spawn today? And Desimpi has got ahead of uh, Trizen now on the Wellington Straight to go up into sixth position. Switchback likewise on Radicon. Or so he thought, because Radicon, once again, on the outside, gets back through. Brilliant racing between these two. So switchback to the inside as they enter Stowe. Radicon wisely leaves him enough room. And goes past him into 8th position. Randizzi's in the pits now for Williams, who's been on the mediums since the start of the race. 
and now he needs to change his tyres. And the rain is coming down now. So on lap 21, the race, so the, the rain is starting to come down. Now how long will it be before drivers start to lose a lot of grip? Because we know how much can change in the space of six laps, so it could well be drivers tiptoeing their way to the, vid, uh, to the finish, because the amount of time you do lose in the pits, changing tyres, is quite a lot. Tristan's still within one second of uh, DSMP. He's using DRS now as well. He's got the luxury of DRS, as is DeSimpi actually, because he's within a second of that bat marker ahead of him, which is uh, Randizi who's just been in for tyres. And Radicon getting past Switchback for eighth place around the outside into Brooklyn's, but Switchback is still not giving it up. Coming out of Woodcote now, onto the old pit straight. And it's Switchback who gets back in front as they enter Cops. And Aston Master's gone off again for Red Bull. I don't know what to say about his race anymore now, to be honest with you. Now, did he reset the... I think he's reset the car onto the track again as Aston Masters. So that's at least five times that he has reset the car onto the track. Switchback going up to 8th place now ahead of Radicon. Still side by side between these two. Does Radicon go for it again? No, he sits back in this time. So Switchback goes up to 8th. As the drivers, you can imagine, will be beginning to struggle. Now, if you're the leaders, considering you'll be the first ones finishing, as the, race, sorry, as the rain continues to intensify... They'll be benefited more because they'll be the first one, uh, first ones uh, finishing. So Elog in third, Gamer Chains has broken that six-second window now on those behind. So that simply has got six seconds worth of time penalty. So Gamer Chains continues to go on his charge behind the. Renault of Denmark for fourth position now. Now Denmark has a time penalty of three seconds. So if James wants to finish ahead of him, he needs to open up a three second gap on him. As uh, B Natty Nutter as he spun again. Yes, he has. As the Masters back in the pits for Red Bull. And is he going to go into a set of intermediates possibly? Or another set of softs? I think it's another set of softs he's on actually. Tilwick's in the pits as well. And Gamer James has got up to fourth place now ahead of Denmark. James doing brilliantly from the back of the grid. But he won't want to get too excited. You can see the rain drops on the circuit now. And the thing is, who goes in for tyres and who goes, who stays out? Here is Cyclonado, who won't want to be taking too many risks. He has got another three laps to go at the end of this one, so he just needs to take it easy. There is P nine seconds behind. Elog in third. And someone else has gone off. It's Acid Masters again. Acid Masters out of the race. Now, please don't let that trigger a safety car this time. Yeah, don't think it will do. So, Aston Masters finally gives up the ghost and he's out of the British Grand Prix. And looks like someone else has gone off again. It's been Natty Natty this time. Struggling on, well, struggling in the conditions actually. Cyclonado carries on. And a five second time penalty now for Denmark for speeding in the pits. That's costly for him. Is he gambling on the intermediates? 
The, the DRS has not been disabled yet. So Dissimpy goes up to 5th, Tristan 6th. Switchback and Radicon will go past as well. But in fact, no, Radicon's in the pits. So Radicon coming in for intermediates. Now Cyclonado. Tito in his way round. The pit lane's getting very busy at the moment. Will Cyclonado pit in at the end of this lap? The answer is no. He decides to stay on. Now does WSP decide to risk it? No, he's staying out as well. Now, if you're Elog, I don't think you've got anything to lose, to be honest with you. But no, he stays out. So, Elog, now I can imagine the leaders are going to be struggling. The highest of those on the intermediates now is Denmark, who's in eighth. Switchback is the next driver ahead of him. You can see the pace difference between those on the intermediates and those on dries. Denmark will be coming at them like a rush at the moment now as Gamer James pits in for the intermediates. Denmark, no doubt, will go ahead of it. You can see Saigonado struggling. has been enough to unlapse himself from the Williams. Now the leaders have got to be very, very careful not to throw it away at this stage now. Trizen carries on, but he is struggling big time. De Simpy likewise, and Denmark will be all over the back of them as the laps tick down. Trizen goes wide at the village. Denmark goes to the outside of De Simpy, and I don't think this is going to be any contest whatsoever. In fact, he, he completely, he almost got boxed in between the pair of them and got round between them. Brilliant move there from Denmark to put himself up into fourth place. Now, the good news for him is that the leaders have not yet come in. Psychonado is going to be pitting at the end of this lap. In fact, no, he's not. So Psychonado, with one lap remaining, is carrying on on his um, mediums. Now, WSP, I think, is going to have to do the same. What about Elog? Will he decide to pit? He does pit. So Elog does pit him for the intermediates. Does he get the car slow down in time? He does. So Cyclonado and WSP on the last lap are staying on their dry compound tyres. Denmark in fourth place is just coming onto the hangar straight now. I think it's too far back to be honest with you. I really, really do. So think about getting ahead of Cyclonado and WSP. He's got that time penalty as well, don't forget. So here's Cyclonado coming into Brooklyn's, struggling so much. So Elog exits the pits now in third place ahead of Denmark, who is coming through in the Renault. So Elog stays ahead of the, uh, the Renault driver. Now Cyclonado, he's got that three second penalty, so he doesn't want to be pushing too hard. He, he needs to slow down in the corners, as you would do, but the time gained is going to be very much on the straights. Psychonado coming through Beckett. Then it's Chapel, the hangar straight. And then we've got Stowe Corner. Drifts his way through. Just Vale and Club to get through. And Cyclonado. Even the change of conditions, whilst he's on dries, will not stop him. Taking victory in the nick of time here at Silverstone. Cyclonado wins the British Grand Prix. A brilliant job by him, even with the time penalty. That victory will not be taken away from him. WSP tiptoeing his way through Club to bring his Alpha Tari home in second place. And then some way behind will be Elog on the intermediates.
El will finish ahead of Denmark. I think it was the right thing to do for him to come in. Because otherwise, he would have been overtaken. So El will come home in third place. Denmark will be fourth. But once I have a look at the time penalties, actually, because he may drop behind Gamer James. No, he won't, actually, because Gamer James' time penalty is too much for him to uh, overtake Denmark. So Gamer James comes home in sixth place ahead of Radicon. De Simpi is only 1.1 seconds ahead of Trizen. So De Simpi is going to fall behind Trizen and switch back. And switch back gets past the Mercedes. I think he's going to get through on uh, De Simpi, but he'll get ahead of him because of De Simpi's time penalty. So De Simpi 8th. Well, it's saying that Trizen is 7th because of Switchback's time penalty. So, Trizen 7th, Switchback 8th, De Simpi 9th. Gummers Indu will be 10th and taking the final point. Then we've got Tilwick ahead of Janino, Rondizi, and B. Natinata rounding out the finishes. But it's victory for Psychonado who takes a step closer towards the championship with victory here at Silverstone. So coming out now onto the podium in this adoring British weather that we are all used to here in the UK. I'm sure that Psychonado will be singing in the rain long into the evening after today's result. So final result here of the British Grand Prix in the Division 1 category of the America F1 Series. So Cyclonado is the winner ahead of WSP in second place and getting the fastest out. Elog third ahead of Denmark. Then it's James in fifth ahead of Radicon. Triz in seventh on debut. Fantastic result from him. Switchback eighth. Desimpi ninth. Gamas Indo taking the final point for Ferrari in tenth. Tilwick just missing out on the points in eleventh and the lap down. Giannino uh, was twelfth ahead of Randizi. B. Natinata and he was the last of the finishers. Aston Masters retired, as did Jackson and Sarley. And that is that. So the championship standings post that sees Psychonado's lead at the top increase to 29 points over WSP. While Elog's third place elevates him up to fourth in the championship. Just eight points behind Aaron Carey, who did not compete in today's race. Well, that's all we've got time for, folks. Thank you for joining us this evening. I'm glad you've enjoyed it. The next round of the championship will be in a week's time at spa Frankenchamp, where the drivers will continue to do battle in the Ardennes Forest. The time of the race is 9.30pm British Summer Time on the 13th of June. So we hope to see you tune in then. I'm Tom Cairns, and I'll speak to you again soon when the America F1 Series returns.